Hey guys, I would like to start by saying congratulations to the Colorado Buffaloes, Coach Prime. They completely destroyed the CSU Rams uh, this past weekend. A game that I predicted that they would lose. And I like the way that they stepped their game up. But this week, it's Baylor, the Bears. And I'm going to step my game up. The Colorado Buffaloes and the Baylor Bears have so much in common that this game is almost truly a coin toss. Now, Baylor's head coach is on the hot seat, Aranda. And what he's going to be doing this season, he's taking over defensive calling. And that has always been his background. That's where he made his name. Uh, LSU, and I think Wisconsin. Just like Coach Pride, he cleaned house too. But he does have seven starters coming back to his defense. He has all four starters coming back for his secondary. And believe it or not, they were all bottom feeders last season. But they do have experience on their side. And they also now have him calling the plays. They have three defensive linemen coming back as well, with the emphasis being on their nose tackle, something they really need for the Buffaloes. But with all these low performers, the difference will have to be in the coaching. Last year, the Bears couldn't run the ball. Therefore, they couldn't throw the ball. In comes Coach Spatterball by way of Texas Tech and Cal. They have three starters on their O-line returning. And they picked up two in the port. This team started 12 freshmen last year. That's a lot of experience coming into this year. They can run the ball with Reese and Richardson. And they picked up Finn as a dual threat quarterback. And they picked up Hawkins in the portal to add something to their wide receiving core. Now, this is what I suspect Baylor would do. With Reese and Richardson, they will run the ball right down the Buffalo's throat. Then they will spice those runs up with misdirection, sweeps, and quarterback keepers. They were continuing to set the Buffaloes up with quick passes, five to 10 yards, to the sides, some to the middle. And after the suspect defense of the Buffaloes gets kind of tired and confused, they will kill them with quick hits over the top. Now, let's talk about the Buffaloes. That's Shadir Sanders is without a doubt the real deal. But I'm still not convinced that they can run the ball. If you can stop the run, keep Shadir Sanders flustered in the pocket. And if you can't get to him, just jump up and raise your hands up. And you want to throw him off balance because a quarterback throws from his core, but his accuracy comes from his feet. So if you can disrupt his feet, you got to pick. Now to me, Shadur Sanders is a dual threat, but not as a runner. That dude can throw from the pocket super accurately, and he's super calm. Also, if he's running, that dude is accurate then too. So you have to get him off balance. He has to know you're coming. And when the heat is turned up, Shadir will make a mistake. But other than that, the dude is the real deal at quarterback. And Shadir also has the big play hitters at receiver, especially Horn and Hunter. What really stands out to me the most about the Buffaloes is their millions of dollars NFL coaching staff. 
they haven't proved to me yet that those millions are well spent. I am not so worried about Colorado's defense because I think that the Bears have more magic in the run game and more magic in their short passing game because of their running game. Guys, I love Coach Prime, don't get me wrong. But I do believe that the NFL in their coaching fraternity is overrated. So, if Aranda can put the heat on Sanders, I think that Baylor wins this game 17 to 14. Thank you very much.